this video I want to show you how I make soy wax candles. They're actually so easy and the end result is so nice. You can gift them to someone, you can make them to sell, you just need to get the equipment together that you need to make them. You are going to need some votives or some jars, you're going to need some wicks or tabs with wicks and put them together. You'll need a fragrance dye block, you'll need some soy wax, you can also buy stickers if you want for directions for use or you can make your own. You could also buy boxes if you want and you can present them in lovely beautiful boxes with clear opening fronts and stuff like that. First I start by sticking the pre-made candle wicks to the centre of the inside of the votive. So these votives are from Candle Creations and they cost $1.40 each. That's in New Zealand so that's going to be less in America if you're buying from an overseas supplier. It holds approximately 70 grams of wax. Then using my hot glue gun I apply the glue to the bottom of the wick tab and then I press that into the centre of the inside of the glass votive. It sticks down pretty fast and stays on. You could use some melted soy wax also to stick this wick tab down. As the soy goes cold, it keeps the wick in place. Using glue will look like this on the outside of the bottom of the votive. I stick a fragrance label or a warning label over the bottom of the votive so you never see it. Soy wax can have a flashing point which means it can combust into flames or catch on fire. There's a certain temperature that that will happen and the safest way to melt the wax is to create a double boiler or a bain marie. So you fill half a pot full of water and then you put it on the stove and you wait for the water to boil then you turn the water down and then you put your bowl full of the wax on top of the pot so that it heats slowly and it doesn't heat fast okay so I'm going to turn the element on I'm going to turn it to a medium heat I weighed 240 grams of soy wax that's going to easily make three votives with some sphere Knowing that each votive can hold 70 grams each, 210 grams would have been fine as well, but I just chose to do a little bit more. Once the water is boiling in the pot, you turn down the heat to a simmer, then you put the bowl of soy wax on the top of the pot. Once the soy wax is melted, turn off the heat from the element and then check the temperature. temperature should be under 180 degrees and then you can add your colour. Now you can break up your dye from the block. Breaking it up will help it melt in faster to the melted soy wax. So candle creations sell them in two blocks, five blocks, ten blocks etc. A two block dye will colour three kg of wax in a medium shade. A two block will cost you $2.50 and you can adapt the amount of dye from the block that you put in your soy wax. So you can decide whether you want it light pink, bright pink, whatever shade you like. So the dye blocks are highly concentrated vegetable based dye suitable for soy, paraffin and palm waxes. Now you stir in the dye for two minutes. You can test the colour of your wax by putting a couple of drops on the kitchen countertop or on baking paper. When it cools it will show the end product colour result. We don't want the fragrance to burn off. So that means that the temperature of the wax is too hot, that the fragrance won't adhere or meld or stay or stick, whatever you want to call it, in the soy wax. I add my fragrance when the temperature is between 150 to 160. I haven't come across any problems with any particular fragrances and they seem to stay in their vines. The fragrance I'm using in this orange wax is mango papaya. It's a really popular fragrance in the candles. The fragrance was from Candle Creations and I purchased a 30ml fragrance for $3.50. They also come in larger sizes. The amount of fragrance oil that you add will depend on the amount of soy wax that you have. Once the wax is cooled to 150 degrees, transfer the melted soy wax from the bowl into a pouring vessel. I am using a Pyrex measuring jug. Pour the wax into the prepared wicked votive. Leave some space from the edge of the votive to the surface of the wax. Candle Creations also sell these really cool wooden wicks and they crackle as you burn them. So you get a different base with those and it looks like this and you just push the wooden wick into the base. Then you add some glue and stick it down to the middle of the jar. Oh. 
After pouring the candles, you can use the candle wick holders. This will help the wick stay in the centre of the candle. The wick staying in the centre of the glass is important because if the wick isn't in the centre of the wax, it will burn the soy too slow or too fast. I also decided to purchase some different kinds of jars because I normally just get votives and I wanted to try a couple of different things for fun. I got the Libby Vibe Jar number 356 and it holds 12.25 ounces and it cost me $2. You can get a lid, a nickel coated metal lid that goes with the Libby Vibe Jar and that cost me $1.50. We got the Libby Medium Flat Pressed Lid to go with um, the Libby Medium Status Jar. The lid was a dollar and the jar number 477 was $2.05 so that was $2.05. After you've poured the candles, they'll cool over a few hours. I'd recommend leaving them for a couple of days before burning them and you are all done. You have some beautiful candles to give as gifts or to sell or just for yourself. That completes all the steps to show you how I make soy candles. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see some more DIY videos, please subscribe and check out my playlists.